Today's video is brought to you by Hex Gaming. Let me ask you a question. Do you need that competitive edge in that first person shooter, third person shooter? Are you just getting straight clapped by the competition? Or how about that raid in that console MMO? Do you need something to give you some ease for your next cooldown? Make your rotation a little bit simpler? Need some customizable buttons? Or do you just want a flashy controller? Visit Hex Gaming today and use promo code TONEC127 to get 5% off anything you order in the Hex Gaming store. That's hexgaming.com. Use promo code TONEC127 at checkout to get yourself a discount. Enjoy the video, guys. Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Tanek127 and welcome back to Tanek FPS. And enjoy the gameplay in the background. Who's that? Who's that big buff strong man back there? Well his name is Cannon. That's right, Rogue Company just finished doing the Cannon update show over this past weekend and gave us access to Cannon on the PTS server and I figured, you know, I would just show him messing around in the um in the uh, shooting range and stuff like that for you guys just to take a peek at. Now, I do want to apologize. I did not get to do a reaction video to the Canon update show like I did last time. Unfortunately, I was picking my daughter up from school, so I got I didn't make it to the stream in time and, and everything, unfortunately. But I wanted to make this small video, you know, just to give you guys a little update on the news. I'll leave a link down to the Canon update show down in the description below. It's about an hour long, so if you do watch it, I would highly suggest, you know, listening to it from your phone or something like a podcast or something like that, put some headphones in and, and relax. But anyway, let's go ahead and talk about what we're going to talk about in today's show. So welcome to the Canon update. Um, this update just went live on the PTS this past weekend. So I would expect this update to show up probably within two or the next two or three weeks, AKA probably the beginning of October. This update is going to come with some weapon tuning, a little bit of rogue nerfs, um, Canon himself, of course. And basically this is like their Halloween event kind of thing. There's going to be a lot of Halloween cosmetics coming in this update, which I do find really cool. They didn't get a chance to do that last year because they even said in the update show they were just launching into open beta around this time, so they really didn't, you know, have too much time to do a Halloween event. But the skins in there are looking pretty dope. They have this Baron Samity one for Saint, another, um, like Predator like looking skin for Glitch. Um, Roco Leaks actually leaked a lot of these before the update show even came out. So big props to um, Roco Leaks. I'll um, put a link to his Twitter and everything down in the description below and some of the links to the skins so you guys can see them. But they're also in the update show notes as well, whichever you guys do um, prefer to look at. But like I said, Roco Leaks is always on, on top of it. So a big special thank you to him. Um, we have Cannon, of course, who is the big mini gun toting man you guys are seeing in the background the footage right now yes he has a minigun he is going to be your tachanka of rogue company he can walk around with the minigun or he can mount it if it mounted it gets increased accuracy he uses seekers gun um i can't remember the name of the shotgun that he uses and he has a kit he's built like a like a defender so he has life drain i believe he has the body armor perk and a bunch of others and stuff like that i got them all here on the screen for you guys just can't think of them all off the top of my head so do forgive me for um for that but um the one thing i can picture about this character and especially you know from videos i've seen on youtube already is a lot of people are going to say this character is broken and the thing is i don't think he's broken it's just he does his job he's a defender the objective is to keep you away from the objective and that's what his weapon is meant to do but you know how the rogue company community and how gamers in 2021 get you know when they see something that looks like it's gonna light you up really quick overpowered broken y'all y'all know the thing is but here's the unique thing about this update i don't think he is broken i just think now more than ever glitch mains are going to have to do their jobs when it comes to this guy point blank period and that's what it's going to be glitch and the emp grenades also got a also are getting a significant buff this update glitch is officially going to be able to shut down timed ultimate so people like scorch you know who use the um the fire on her gun. If Glitch casts his um, ultimate while Scorch is shooting her fire, it's going to be turned off right then and there. Same thing goes with Cannon, our big boy. So if you 
think there's going to be a cannon on the other team, you need to bring a glitch or play glitch yourself. Or, you know, a lot more people need to start experimenting with the guy who shuts off abilities. Like, that's the thing. That's the thing about, about this game that I don't understand. There are so many people who will complain about, you know, different rogue abilities, people being broken and stuff like that. But you have a dude in the game that literally shuts abilities off. Just play the dude that shuts off the abilities. <laughs> like, I, I don't I don't understand it. And I honestly hope that um, Rogue Company makes another character like Glitch, someone else that can um, interfere with um, Rogue's abilities and stuff like that as well. Because I do think, you know, there could there should be more than, more than one, especially if they plan on expanding this roster as big as, you know, it seems like it's going to be getting. But yeah, there are some small nerfs that are happening in this update as, um... As well, like Ronin and Dima's KA-30, they're reducing the accuracy of it while reverting it back. But I believe the headshot damage is going to stay. So it's still going to, you know, beam people pretty well and light them up. But you just got to be a bit more accurate um, with your shots. Um, like I said, Ken, he's going to be using the, um, the Sahara. Sorry, I could not think of the name of that gun earlier for the, um, for, for the life of me. Um, Runway is going to be getting one small nerf to her ability. It's um, instead of fully refilling your gadgets, it's only going to give one now whenever she plants her suitcase down for someone to pick up, which I personally don't think is a, a really big deal. Refilling everybody's gadgets to the max is probably a little bit overkill anyway, especially with what um, the EMP grenades are going to be able to do now. Abilities are going to be shut off left and right, and I'm sure people are going to be packing these things thanks to our good buddy Cannon right here. But um, anyway, guys, let me know what you guys are thinking about this update down in the comments below. And remember, I still do have a giveaway going on for two Blitzberry weapon wraps and a cheer emote. All you have to do is be subscribed, have notifications on, comment down below your thoughts on today's video topic, as well as a way to contact you like a Twitter handle or email address. But anyway, guys, like I said, y'all enjoyed today's video. Leave a like. Let me know down in the comments below. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out. Have a good one.